Hello and welcome back. In our Heart video part 1, I presented an overview of digital education and talked about the possible role of humanoid robots within it. In this second part, as promised, we will now take a look at some of our robot apps we believe to be beneficial in education and beyond. Remember, the starting point for HEART is an integrated digital teaching and learning scenario with an in-class phase where humans assist, help, but no longer lecture. And in such in-class scenarios we can't get enough help. So why not employ humanoid robots as assistants? The idea is that they can help and assist just like human coaches. And we assume that our robot Pepper has just the right size and the required capabilities to do exactly that. But in order to become an assistant in class, Pepper needs a number of apps that he can perform on request. And we have to understand whether and how these apps work or not. That's exactly the goal of HEART, Humanoid Emotional Assistant Robots in Teaching. In a first phase, we looked at the state of the art and found out that humanoid robots are scarcely used in our societies. Now we have reached phase two, where we have been developing several robot apps ready to be tested in class. In a third phase, we want to make available those apps that have been evaluated as beneficial by our students. By doing this, we can make humanoid robots our true long-term allies. So, let's look at our operational robot apps ready for use in class. The first app turns our robot into a quiz master who asks and presents questions, applies and displays a timer and, after a predefined time, presents the solution. Here is a demo of that app. Here is the question. Identify the speech sound being pronounced. F as in fall. We have given the right answer. The main benefit of this app is the new freedom for the human coach. The questions, which can also be shown on big screens, can be of different formats and are all drawn from the Virtual Linguistics Campus databases. They can be randomized, they can be triggered automatically or sequentially, and the big gain is time. Time which human coaches can use to assist their students and provide them with individual help. Here is another app. With the Classmate app, students can contact the robot in order to be helped on course-related problems and beyond. Here is how it works. First, students generate their individual QR code on our platform, the Virtual Linguistics Campus. With this unique code, which is less ambiguous for the robot than face recognition, the robot can be contacted and will then enter into a dialogue that helps on user-specific course-related aspects and so on. And the benefit? Well, simply, human coaches can gain more time for individual assistance. The Master of Ceremonies, or short MC app, uses the robot as a servant who introduces the participants of a small class or workshop to one another when they meet for the first time. A simple but effective app, since the robot takes over and provides the coach with more freedom to do other things at the same time. Here is a short clip of that app in action. Say something about the students. Okay, let's contact them. Melanie, what made you come here? Hi Pepper, my name is Melanie. Um... A further app uses 
the naive potential of the robot. For didactic purposes, it is often essential to ask simple, even naive questions. Whereas humans would be reluctant to do that, robots have no problems in doing that. And that's why we can employ them in such a way in presentations and, as we will see here, in educational videos. Bahn has to be chosen if the final stem vowel is a back vowel. Isn't this some sort of harmony? Yes. As already mentioned, all these apps are beneficial for in-class tuition. They help us in gaining more time, they give us new options for didactic simplification, or they allow for more individualization. And what about the usability of these apps? Well, with the exception of the Classmate app, they can be implemented relatively easily and thus can be reused to enhance the in-class meetings. And with further extracurricular apps, we can use our humanoid robots as experts and as info points or as messengers or friendly servants. All these apps contribute to making humanoid robots our long-term allies in education and beyond. To find out whether that's possible is the central goal of our project HART, and I'm sure we will. Thanks for your attention. See you again soon.